Hello everybody. Welcome to Stories, Treasures and Tea. A very warm welcome. So happy to have you here today. I would ask that you please subscribe so that you can be a part of this community and be a part of us growing together because we are growing um, and I'm very pleased about that. So if you can subscribe and uh, put in your comments, I love to hear your comments. Um, so that we can become a uh, community and friends. So today, stories, treasures, and tea. I'm going to begin with treasures because this week I did go to a thrift shop, um, two actually, and I came across um, these beautiful colored dishes. I just had to get these because of the beautiful color. Let me just show you the others too, if I can. There's this color. It's like a, it's like an ice cream dish, I would say, but you could put anything in them. And these dishes, beautiful green here too. These ice cream dishes just screamed spring into summer and they were a dollar each. So it was a wonderful find that I got. I couldn't resist all that color. So that was one of my treasures this week in the thrift shop. And the other one was this. It's not actually a teapot, it's a coffee pot. And I only have one other coffee pot. We have lots of teapots, but we don't have a lot of coffee pots. And sometimes when I have um, people over for tea, somebody prefers coffee. So this one was so pretty because it has that um, English cottage. My daughter always liked that look and um, I do too. And it's made in England. It was a little bit more, I think it was like $10.99, but it's uh, made in England and it's good quality. So that was my other treasure this week. It was a fun time out. Um, so the other thing I'm gonna talk about now is my tea. And this week, because we're gonna be talking about flowers a lot, and we're also gonna be talking about awesome things, awesomeness, so I want you to stick around for that, uh, that session on awesome. But my tea today, because we're talking about flowers as well, is one of uh, Heather's blends, and it is a floral relaxer. It has, um, it has rose in it, it has lavender, uh, linden flowers, chamomile, lots of floral things, and it's beautiful for nighttime, your nighttime routine, because it, it helps you sleep. Beautiful and mild. I love it. Little bit of rose scent, but scent and taste, but very nice. I love it. So that's my tea. So this week I'm going to talk about uh, the adventures that I went on with my daughter, daughters, both daughters, I have two daughters, and they came up with this idea. Maybe you have this sort of thing in your area. Um, it was new to me, but it was a tulip farm. And right now the tulips are at their peak. This place was so beautiful. It was, felt like we were in Holland. There were rows and rows of beautiful colors of tulips. And because we kind of left it a little late, I guess, we had to make a booking, because you had to make a booking, it's so popular. We had to make a booking for 8 a.m. And I thought, oh, maybe the tulips won't even be open yet, but they were, and it was such a wonderful experience just to walk through uh, those rows of beautiful color. And then what you could do is you could, each, per, uh, each person could pick 10. So what they wanted you to do was kind of get the stem and twist it. And if you got the bulb, you were to leave it there. 
but um, most times if you just go down and twist it, you didn't pull up the bulb. So each person got to take 10 home. So we were very um, pleased with that. And on the way out, they, they wrapped it, but there wasn't any water. And I said to the girl, you know, don't we get any water for the tulips? And she said, no, they'll keep wrapped like that for three hours. And I thought, okay, we were an hour from home. But um, what we did was we put them in the car and we laid them very gently in the back, in the trunk. And then uh, we went for brunch. So um, we didn't stay too long, but by the time we got home, the tulips did not look very healthy. And I thought, oh, that's too bad. At least we had the adventure of the tulip farm. But as it turned out, we each got our own tulips. I heard this thing one time from a flower man, and he said, with fresh cut flowers, put a few copper pennies into the water, into the vase. So I tried that, and we each put our own tulips in our vase, and in the morning, they were beautiful. They rejuvenated, and so, they lasted a good uh, few days. There's still, we still have some of them a few days later. So we're very happy about that. So the next thing I want to talk about is awesome, awesomeness. And there's this book, you might have seen it before, and it's in, uh, written a while ago, but it's called The Book of Awesome. And the gentleman that wrote it, Neil Pashricha, I think is the pronunciation, he described himself as just a regular kind of office working fellow, but he realized how much sadness there was in the world and bad news. So he just came up with this idea to um, think of the small everyday joys. And sometimes we don't even think about all the small everyday joys that we have. So that's what he did. He did a website first and, um, you know, listed all the things that he thought were uh, a joy and as he said, awesome. And then he wrote the book. So I'm just going to read you a few of his, his um, everyday joys that he thinks are awesome. And I'm going to read a few today and maybe a few next week. But for example, he said, hitting a bunch of green lights in a row when you're driving. That's awesome. It is. Especially if you're in a hurry and if there's traffic and you get all those green lights. It's awesome. The next thing he said was bakery air. Oh, who doesn't love it when you go into a bakery and those aromas? That is awesome. Then he said, sleeping on freshly washed bed sheets. I love that. That is, that is awesome. It makes the comfort of your bed even more so. And then he said, the smell of crayons. Many people love the smell of crayons. What about you? Do you like crayon smells? I know I love to smell books. I am a book smeller. Um, the next thing he said was, finding your keys after looking forever. Awesome. That is awesome. Then he said, perfectly toasted toast. A simple thing and it's awesome. He also said this, finally remembering a word that's been on the tip of your tongue for a long time. How many of us have done that? Or a movie, or a person in a movie. You think, I know that person, but I can't think of their name. So that is awesome when you finally figure out who it is or, or the name of the movie. The smell of freshly cut grass. I love it. As a matter of fact, I can smell grass right now because the window is open here. It's a beautiful day here. And I love the 
smell of freshly cut grass. So that's his Book of Awesome. There's lots in here, but next week I'll read you a few more. And I just want you to let me know what are some of your uh, simple joys that, that you think are really awesome, as simple as they are. The next thing I want to talk about is something that happened to me yesterday. Because I had this, um, this list of things to do. I'm going to read you that first. And it says, it's a to-do list. And I try to do this at the beginning of the week. On this list it says, count my blessings. Let go of what I can't control. Practice kindness. Be productive, yet calm. Just breathe. So I really had to put that into effect this week because what happened was I went for a walk in the morning. It's been a beautiful week. And as I was walking home, I was walking towards my home and this neighbor was walking this way. And this neighbor is a lovely young woman. I think she's about 30. She had a she was in a terrible car accident when she was 12 years old and at that time she was in a coma she had brain damage and now she walks in the neighborhood very slowly with a cane struggles to walk but every time i see her she is pleasant i said to her how are you doing today she said i'm doing great I said, oh, that's nice. It's a beautiful day. She said, it's a glorious day. And I think she has so much to deal with. She had to learn to walk again. And yet she's full of joy all the time. She is absolutely my inspiration. So later that day, I was at the grocery store. I parked and another car was parked beside me. And I saw this lady coming towards me and she was old. I'd say she was 85 years old, mid eighties, maybe more. She was pushing a little shopping cart. It was, um, it was a smaller one, not the big shopping cart. And um, she was coming towards my car. And before I had a chance to say, oh, be careful, she came rather barreling through and with the shopping cart, she hit my side view mirror, scraped against it. And I thought, oh my goodness, I was just ready to say something. I did say things in my own car, but I thought she didn't mean to do it. She's old. I'm not going to get money from her. Uh, I probably won't even need money, money. So I just stayed in my car and I thought, okay, it's an older lady. She didn't do it on purpose what can you do? And I said, nothing. She went to her car and I looked at my mirror later and I thought, well, maybe I could buff it up. But because I thought about that practice kindness and it's easier said than done. Like sometimes, um, you know, I, I saw this poster one time of this, this little birdie and it said, I'm a perfect angel until someone ruffles my feathers. So being kind is, um, is not as easy as we think, and it doesn't mean that we have to um, have people use us like a doormat, not at all. But there's certain times where you just have to practice that kindness, I think. So I'm just going to end with um, talking about next week, I'm hoping to do a little tour of my house or part of the house at least, because I wanted to show you how I uh, used a lot of the thrifted items that I've collected. So that's the plan for next week. I hope you come back. And so uh, let's just end with this. The last two things on my to-do list, be productive yet calm and just breathe. I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all of you and see you next week. Bye-bye.